The F-22 Raptor is awesome. It's the Air Force's top fighter, totally stealthy, crazy fast, and super maneuverable. So it feels weird that the US Navy never got a version for their aircraft carriers, right? It all comes down to a fundamental conflict between how the plane was built and what a carrier requires. The Raptor was made purely for long, smooth land-based runways, meaning it was never tough enough to handle the non-stop punishment of life at sea. Trying to force it into a naval role would have been too expensive and just too much trouble. Seriously, the biggest hurdle is that the F-22 isn't tough enough. Landing on a carrier deck is often called a controlled crash for a reason. The plane needs super strong landing gear and a beefed up frame to absorb the huge impact when it slams down. The Raptor's structure was built for smooth, gradual deceleration on long Air Force runways, not for that brutal shock. It wasn't reinforced to handle the extreme stress of getting launched by a catapult or being yanked to a dead stop by a tail hook catching an arrestor wire. It just wasn't designed for that abuse. On top of the physical issues, modifying the F-22 would have likely ruined its best feature, its stealth. To land safely on a moving ship, the plane needs to approach at a much slower speed. This led to plans for a Sea Raptor, NATF-22, that included complex moving variable sweep wings, similar to the F-14 Tomcat. But here's the catch. All those moving parts and joints would inevitably increase its radar signature, making it easier for enemies to spot. Why spend all that money just to compromise its superpower? It would have made the already incredibly expensive Raptor even more ridiculously costly to build and maintain. Ultimately, the Navy dropped the idea because of shifting global priorities and simple economics. The Sea Raptor concept was born in the 1980s when the Soviet Union was the clear high-tech enemy. When the Soviet Union collapsed, that urgent need for a specialized air dominance fighter vanished. Suddenly spending billions to create a niche naval jet seemed fiscally crazy, especially when the Navy's existing workhorse, the F-A-18, was perfectly capable of handling the lower-end conflicts that followed. The strategic necessity for the F-22 at sea just wasn't there anymore. Instead of trying to shoehorn the F-22 onto carriers, the Navy went for a smarter solution the F-35C Lightning II. 